Hello everyone. What are the dietary precautions one has to follow when one has gallbladder stones? So let us discuss this very important topic in different groups. One is somebody has a gallbladder stone but has never had any pain or any symptom because of it. He's got a silent gallstone which was found during a routine scan. The second type of patient is someone who has a gallbladder stone who's been getting pain attacks on and off and he or she is planning for to get a surgery done but they are not there yet they want to wait for some time before getting a gallbladder operation done the third is a patient who has already got a gallbladder operation done and the gallbladder has been removed so each of these uh, groups of patients what sort of dietary advice or precautions should they follow coming to the first group the silent gallbladder stones generally patients with stones which have never caused pain or silent stones do not need surgery so these patients need not follow any strict dietary precautions the only thing they have to be careful is they must avoid gaining too much of weight and they must avoid taking heavy fatty or oily foods because these two uh, things can make their stones increase in number or cause symptoms in their future life coming to the second most important group where the patient is having repeated attacks of pain because of gallstones and they are planning to get operated but they are in the waiting period they they want to take some time before they go for surgery so what dietary advice do we give them the first thing we tell them is do not take heavy oily or fatty food because when one takes a very oily food there is a lot of uh, requirement for bile juice for fat digestion and that is the time when the gallbladder will very forcibly contract and pump out the bile and during this process the stones can get ejected out or they can go and get blocked in the gallbladder neck so one must avoid taking heavy oily foods when they have a symptomatic gallstone the second advice we tell them is avoid fasting like don't leave a long gap between two meals so what happens when one skips a meal is the bile juice which is formed is not being used by the intestine so the bile remains in the gallbladder as a stored bile and the gallbladder is very tensely filled with bile so when one skips lunch and directly after a morning breakfast has a, a dinner at 10 or 11 pm all the bile which has been produced throughout the day is stored in the gallbladder and the gallbladder forcibly contracts and the stone can get blocked in the gallbladder neck or even get pushed out into the bile duct so we generally advise these patients not to have prolonged periods of fasting they must keep taking some small frequent meals avoid very fatty foods that is the advice we give them now coming to the third group somebody who has already undergone a gallbladder operation for gallstones they ask us what special um, ad dietary advice should i follow during the initial period following the gallbladder operation we advise them to avoid any sort of fasting due to religious or whatever reason because it takes time for the body to adjust to the absence of the gallbladder so for the initial 3 months they must be taking small frequent meals and avoid prolonged periods of fasting in between meals because the bile juice has to be continuously used as it is being released into the intestine apart from this there is no restriction on the diet for patients who have undergone a gallbladder operation for the sake of gallbladder so they are free to eat all sorts of foods after the operation and their digestive power will be as good as it was before the surgery so there is no loss of any digestive uh, power or there is no defect in digesting any particular type of food after the gallbladder operation and after a period of initial 2 to 3 months they have can lead a pretty much normal life with a normal dietary pattern